Alright, what is going on guys? Uh, so today I have to replace a uh, breaker. One of my breakers, this one here, um, was faulty where it kept tripping. Um, so I went and bought um, a new Eaton breaker um, and I already, I already replaced it so I'm just kind of run through the steps um, for you guys and kind of the safety measures that I took uh, to do this. So obviously before I did all this, I shut down all of my breaker side. So this is actually a sub feed to the actual main breaker outside. So um, I also bought one of these non-conductive um, voltage tester here. Let me turn this on. I'm gonna show you guys what I shut off. So because I have a Tesla um, battery and the solar here, shut off the battery just in case if, you know, obviously when you lose power, the battery kicks in, trying to power the whole house. I shut that off. So that's the battery side. This is the breaker to the sub feed, which is that panel inside there so I turned that off and on the Tesla side I turned off all these here so that the battery won't turn on the PV breaker here as well so just shut off everything on the, the Tesla side so that uh, nothing gets turned on when it thinks it's off this normally this comes from the city and it's live and as you can see here this gets cut off because I have solar panels and it's like this is a sub feed um, so when I shut off power on the other side, everything kind of loses power. If you run this down the whole line here, everything's, not, you know, no power, right? So everything here is safe, but sometimes um, if you don't have a, like a sub fee where this is actually your main one from the outside, these will be live. So you don't want to touch anything like that or that bar back here when you're doing this. Um, and if you guys aren't comfortable in doing this, again, hire an electrician the first time. I hired an electrician because I wasn't comfortable and then I kind of watched him and I was asking him, you know, questions in terms of how to do this. Um, and they said, yeah, you know, just shut this off and everything will be pretty much dead, like they said, right? Um, and you should be good to, um, you know, reinstall this. So it's actually really easy. So this one here, what you're going to have to do is obviously have this off. This comes with like a little pigtail here. Um, and that comes on that neutral bar, which is that silver plate thing in the back back there same thing all the way back here I also have like leather gloves on top of my gloves that I wore just to you know pre-measure you know safety also you want to get like a insulated um, tool while you're working with this um, just in case if your thing is live you don't want to touch anything um, I'll link all the stuff in the description um, but pretty sure all you're gonna do is this one here if it's on the left side you're gonna rock this to the left and it's gonna pop off like that um, and it basically hooks onto these plates back here and then when you want to when you're ready You can kind of lock them back same thing on this side And all you do is you buy the exact same model and you look for the color So you got black and white that comes out of these uh, Two screws here. I'm gonna show you guys. So that one right there. And there's one right there So this top one here the first one is going to be your strip or your power load and that one's going to be the black one in my case and then the other one is going to be your neutral, which is this one right, where's it not focusing? This one right here. Uh, the second screw, that's going to be the white. Again, if you're not sure, when you look at this, when you pull it out, take a picture of it. Um, and then, you know, you can just match up the wires. And all it is, is just going to be a flathead that un un undoes that. Um, and you can pull it out. The neutral bar was a little tricky because, as you can see, there's like a bunch of wires that are tangled back there. I had to undo a couple of these and just kind of like put them up and down so that I can get to the screw, unscrew it. And then this little end piece here, you're just going to put it back in and just screw it in. Again, try to not touch anything in the here or that strip. Like I said, when you're doing this, you got to be just extremely careful um, when you're handling anything with electricity here. So, all right, so now that we're ready, we're just going to turn everything back on. Same thing here, turn that back on. And then we'll go ahead and close all this. Just like that, we have everything on. So I'm going to make sure that the test button works here for this new one. So it trips, so we're good. I'll leave that on. Um, I have uh, a bunch of fish tanks in the garage. You can kind of hear the pump and stuff starting back up. So everything looks good. All right guys, and that is how you replace a Eaton uh, breaker. Uh, again, if you guys aren't comfortable in doing this, please, please, please hire an electrician. Um, I'd rather you guys hire one than get electrocuted and possibly hurt yourself. Um, it's maybe even easier if you hire one the first time 
ask questions, watch them in terms of how to do it because you know these guys they do wear out over time, whatever, and they do you know eventually uh, need to be replaced because um, so far I've had to replace three of these breakers. Luckily, one was under warranty. One I I called somebody out, and then this is the third one here that I did myself. So um, yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. And like always, nothing, guys. Peace.